Hello, 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 and welcome to Yolanda's Daily Bread. Today I want to say to you, stop complaining. No more complaining. No more complaining. And especially you, you're a believer. You shouldn't complain. And don't get me wrong. Yes, you have validation in complaining. And I'm not saying no, you, you don't complain about something you don't like. But the core of you should not be. Every time you open your mouth, it's a complaint. When someone says, hi, how are you? You say, great, I'm good. And the next thing you know, you're complaining. That's a complainer. And if you're going to complain, then you cannot, you cannot be elevated. God doesn't get the glory in complaining. You're better than that. You're better than that. The only reason why you're complaining is because you don't have the full revelation or the knowledge of who you are. Also, it could be if you're complaining, for some, if you're complaining is because you know that you're supposed to be doing more than what you're actually doing. You're getting that nudge. That nudge is saying, listen, it's time. It's time. No longer sitting here. You know what? The word of God says that the time that we're in this day, where we are right now, put that Proverbs behind you where it says it's coming. God is saying, no, faith is now. So you have faith as a believer. Then that means that your faith is for now. And if you're complaining, then that means that your faith is not in now. Your faith is in what you can't see. No, your faith is your faith is in something other than God. And you're not getting the desired results. So no more complaining. Mm -mm. Do not complain because if you complain, you remain. But if you praise, if you praise God through your gifting then God will be raised and elevated. You will be raised and the people that you speak to will be raised. So we're going to stop complaining and we're going to operate out of our kingdom authority. And if you feel stuck right now, no worries. I have a webinar coming up on November 25th and it's $25. And we're going to get the tools, resources, and techniques to get out of stuck. It's time to ignite your passion so that way you can receive the prosperity in this land. David said that I faint not that I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. You faint not. Don't you faint where you are. Don't you dare faint where you are because that's what the enemy wants you to do. Because what's connected to you, you, is so many lives to be saved. And you have a huge blessing on your life. Multi-billionaire. That's who you are. That's who you are. That's who you are. Stop playing small. So, join me November 25th from 5 to 7. And yes, that is this coming Sunday. But see, this is not for people who are stuck in holiday. Because as a business owner, as a person who understands time, ROI, return of investment, you want to use your time wisely. I didn't say Thanksgiving. I said that Sunday. Because you have to hit the, you have to hit the ground running. The time is now. Don't miss your chance. Mm -mm. And guess what? You won't miss your chance. I'm not going to say don't miss your chance. Don't sit there thinking that there's no other options. That's what I want to say to you. There are always options. The veil needs to just come off and you have to have a change of mind. So join me on the 25th at 5 o'clock and we're going to rock this thing out, honey. You're going to end the year strong. Now, I want to ask you something. What are you going to do with the information that's just been handed to you? Why settle for no when yes is available? Bye-bye.